Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can configure an MVR. Okay. Uh, remember, I said in my last video, I showed you guys how you can give a unique IP addresses to your cameras. Now, every technology, like I said initial, has their default IP address. So, whenever you buy a particular camera, it has its unique IP addresses okay so but what i'm going to be using today or what i'm using today is uh in Dawa technology cameras so uh it's default ip address is 192.168.1.108 okay so using the Dawa toolkit we changed the ip addresses of the camera to our own unique uh ip addresses so every uh Every IP camera has their unique IP addresses. Okay, so but I'm going to be using the our technology today, which their default IP address is 192.168.1.108. So I use a uh, our config tool to give these IP addresses their unique addresses. Okay, so I change their default to one that will suit me. Now all of them are in the same class, but different IP addresses. Okay. Now other technology has their own toolkit. Uh, their own config tools that you can use to change their IP addresses for it. So, like I said, today is just all about how to set up uh, our NVR from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you my NVR here. It's a Vistu Channel NVR. So, I have this NVR here. So, I have this NVR here. It's a Vistu Channel NVR. Okay, so all my cameras came to this switch. Okay, so I have these switches. All these are my cameras. Alright, so uh, as you can see, we are still working. So everywhere is still scattered. Even this way, I just drag it down. So I'm still going to put it back. So all these guys here are POE switch, power over internet. So this uh, uh, switch is powers my camera. I also send feed of my camera to the MVR. So I looped these two switches together. Then from this one, I loop it directly to my MVR. Okay. So like I said, I've already given all these cameras IP addresses. So we're going to configure this DVR and add these cameras to our to our MVR. Sorry. So these are the switches I use. All these switches are POE switch. Okay. So these switches. Uh, power the camera also send feed of the camera to the NVR. All right, so these two switch have been looped together Then from one of these switch I loop it to the NVR. Okay now We're going to see like I said before I've already given all these cameras their unique IP addresses So we're going to configure this NVR and add this camera to the NVR Okay, so I'm going to plug in this cable is the one that came from one of the switch I'm going to first of all set up the NVR, then I'm going to plug in the cable and add the cameras. All right. So, uh, this is the initial setup. This is the first page we are seeing here. So, I'm going to select, uh, I'm in Nigeria, so I'm going to select Nigeria. Language is English. Okay, these are terms and policies, so I've read it. So most of all, they don't really read this, but I think I've read it some quite time. So time zone and uh, system time. So uh, UTC plus one West African. That's what I'm going to be using. Our uh, date is correct and the time is currently correct here. So I'm going to go to next. Now here is where I'm going to set up our admin password. Okay. So I'm going to set up the admin password. Okay, next. So for the pattern, I'm going to ignore this pattern. I don't need it for now. Then uh, reserved email, we don't need it for now. But this is important in case you forget your your in 
Don't forget your password so you can use this email to uh, recover your password. But we don't need it for this configuration. So this is security question. Now, this security question also helps you to recover your password whenever you misplace your password. So for our own safety, I'm just going to use a letter, something like AAA. So I, what it means is that anytime I'm being asked what is your favorite child's book, I'll just say it's A. What is your, what is the first name of your first book? I'll just say it's A. Okay, so just use a unique something that you will not easily forget. All right, next. So auto check for updates. I'm not going to do this now. Remember, this is just a tutorial class. But if you really need uh, updates from this machine, then you can see it checked. But for now, we don't need this update. Okay, device name, MVR. You can change it to whatever name you want. Okay, so you can give it your company name, your office name, wherever you're installing it. Just give it a unique name that you can uh, remember, okay? But for this uh, video, I'm going to leave it as MVR. Now, number of de uh, devices. Now, let me assume you have up to you have up to six NVRs in one company, okay? Now, and you configure the first one, you give it one, you configure the second one, you give it two, and so on and so forth. So let's assume that this particular NVR here is your fifth device. So you can just give it uh, the number from device number five. So we're having this NVR here as a device number five in this uh, office, okay? So the language is English. So you can choose your preferred language. I'm going to use uh, the general language, which is English. Now, we are going to talk about uh, more on this um, interface. We have the sta video standard, the sync remote device, instant playback, logout time, cam time sync, interval, navigation bar, and mouse sensitivity. For those who don't understand what this mean. Now, sync remote device is when you have other remote device like your laptop, your phone, and every other thing. It will sync the device uh, time, language, and time zone of that uh, device to your MVR so that everything rhymes and match together. If your time zone is like um, um, how this uh, bring with your your time. Now it will sync with its own UTC, which is a universal time code, um, um, code. whereby everything will match. It will give you a real-time um, time stream for your videos and the playback. Now, coming to uh, the instant playback, when you want to view a video of five minutes back, you can go to the particular camera or the particular channel you want but instead of going back to your playback and selecting your camera to view if something happened five minutes ago just is just to go to the channel and click instant playback it plays back what you have recorded five minutes that has been recorded five minutes ago you can increment the length the length of the instant playback to 10 20 depending on you now log out time when you say log out time you talking about and once a user logs in into the MVR after 10 minutes without operation as in an idle mode it logs out of that user without uh, your the admin permission now camera time sync you see since this is an MVR and you are making use of an IP camera the IP cameras they have brains of their own so it syncs its own time with that of the uh, IP camera so everything runs so you won't say your camera this IP camera is having the social time and your MVR is having a different time which will make the video um, um, synchronization not compatible now interval we have a 24 hours interval that's if you want to say uh, the interval of recording should be 10 hours it will record after 10 hours it stops recording that's for interval, but since we have put it 24 hours, it records 24 hours straight. Now, navigation bar, once you check the navigation bar, it will be when you want to operate anything here, there will be a navigation bar at the right side of your screen. Whereby, if the, if the screen is filled up or zoomed in, you have to go to the navigation bar, drag down to go to any option you want. Now, coming to our mouse sensitivity, you know what that mouse sensitivity is 
Now we're going to go to our next 